Hello, this is Alexey. I continue to publish video tutorials and reviews. If this video will be useful to you, please subscribe to my channel and click on the like button under this video. In this way, you will help other users to find necessary information and my channel will run better. All links from the video can be found in the description below. In previous free video tutorials, we create website on Joomla 4 from scratch. We used only free extensions. The result was a business website which was uploaded to the hosting. The previously recorded video tutorials for Joomla 4 are almost completely relevant for the current version of Joomla 5.1. The information from this video tutorial remained relevant for Joomla 4 as well. In this video tutorial we'll talk about Banners. Banners is a free component built into Joomla. It allows you to create advertising banners with click and impression tracking. Here are three examples of banners. They display in one module. Banner with image and link. Banner with text and banner with YouTube video. Let's see how to create banners. Go to Component – Banners. You can start with Clients, but this is not necessary. You can ignore Create Clients or even Categories, but I will show you all options. Create new client with contact name. You can enter contact email. I strongly advise you to enable this settings to track impressions and clicks. If you enable them, you can track the data about clicks and impression you can find here. But now let's go to categories and create new category. As I mentioned before, this is not necessary, but I will show you how to create categories. Now let's go to banners and create new banner. I will call it Whip Ads Right. This is, will be the image, for example, this logo. You can insert Y and High options or just ignore them. You can insert IELT text, some link. This is the link that will be tracked by banner components and you can see the statistic for it. Also here you can set clients, enable track impressions and track clicks. Also here we need to change our category to VIP ads. And here if you enable this option you can insert number of impressions and when the banner will be show, for example, 10 times, it will be automatically unpublished. Here you can enable start and finish published data. I will just save it. Let's go to System, Site Modules. I will disable Blog Write Ads. How to work with modules you can learn from my previous video tutorial. Just update the page, my banners disappeared. Let's create new module, it's called Banners. I will add title, disable title show here, select necessary position, in my case it's side by right. Here you can select either client or category. I will select both of them, just click save, update the page and we can see our banner here and we can see my website. OK. Now let's, for example, disable clients, save it, update the page and we can see still the banner. Why? Because for this category we have of this one banner. Also I can select just client without category and the situation will be the same. Also, you can select several categories with no clients and we can see several banners.
let's create new banner. For example, it will be text banner. It will be whip ads. Here we can change to custom. Let's add just this line of text. Also enable this option. Select client updated we can see some text here but we can use HTML text here but you don't need to write them from the scratch let's go to articles how to work with articles you can learn from my previous video tutorial also in my previous video tutorial you can learn how to work with this editor so insert some text just make it bold or for example underline now just toggle the editor copy this and insert it here save update it and we can see that the text was changed let's save the copy let it be, for example, a video. Let's go to YouTube, click Share, Embed, copy this, insert it here. I recommend you to change, for example, to percent and for example to this you just need to test this variables to your site I just will save it update and here we can see a YouTube video let's see some options in modules here is our banner for example, let's change the count from 5 to 1, update the page and we can see that there is a one banner in our module. Let's change it back. Also, here are header text and footer text. Let's see. Here we can see header text and footer text. Let's delete it and now let's change an order for example randomize update the page and we can see that the position of our banners inside our model is changing almost each time that I update the page but here we can see pinned random what doesn't mean pinned here are our banners for example, we can pin right text, just mark it like pinned, update it, and it will be always on top, even if we have randomize option on. As I mentioned before, we can see some statistic in tracks. Here it is. We can see impressions, clicks, also we can export or delete this information. Here in options we can enable track impressions and track clicks options and then here in client settings if we select use global it will be yes because in global options here and here we enable these options. In the next video tutorial we will talk about workflow for Joomla articles. I hope this and other Joomla video tutorials have helped you with this CMS. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a like. Also, don't forget subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, this is Alexey, see you soon in new tutorials.